Okay, for today's lecture, we will learn on how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So first, we go to the definition. Consider the matrix N by N, meaning is square matrix. So the eigenvalue lambda, okay, denoted as lambda, and eigenvector denoted as x, are defined by Ax equals to lambda x. So x is said to be an eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue L. So if there are, uh, sorry, lambda. If there are three lambda, meaning there are three x corresponding to the lambda. So you, the first step is we need to compute the determinant of a minus lambda i, okay, or a minus lambda i the determinant, okay. So i is the identity matrix so if it's 3 by 3 so it should be identity of 3 by 3 so we need to find the roots of the polynomial the second step so here we will let it equals to polynomial polynomial of lambda okay so we will let it equal to 0 we can find the roots so we'll get Lambda 1 equals to what? Lambda 2 equals to what? And lambda 3 equals to what? So if you have lambda 4, you find lambda 4. So for each lambda here, we will find the eigenvectors by solving a equals a minus lambda i times i equals to 0. So we will look at the example. Okay, now the example one is to find the matrix or the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix A. So it's a 3 by 3. So first of all, you need to write A minus lambda i and find the determinant. So A minus lambda i. So lambda i. is equals to lambda times the identity matrix so that's why you get this so a minus lambda you will get this answer so from this answer we need to find the determinant so determinant we will use the first column so it will be 3 minus lambda so we delete the first and so column and first row so it will be negative, negative lambda times 2 minus lambda minus 0. So that's why we get 3 minus lambda. So it's actually like this here. So in the end, we just have this. Okay. So this is the polynomial. So this is what we call polynomial of lambda so 3 minus lambda this lambda and 2 minus lambda okay so now we will proceed to the second step okay now the step number two we will write polynomial and let it equal to zero so here we can also write like this negative lambda 3 minus lambda 2 minus lambda equals to 0 so be lambda so we separate one by one 3 minus lambda equal to 0 2 minus lambda equal to 0 so when we solve this we get lambda 1 equal to 0 lambda 2 equal to 3 and lambda 3 equals to 2 okay so now for each eigenvalue so this is what we call eigenvalues okay lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 is the eigenvalues now for each eigenvalues we need to find the eigenvectors okay so to find the eigenvectors we use this a minus lambda i equal, times x equals to 0 so we'll find for each eigenvalues so for the first one lambda 1 so we will so the original one we have a minus lambda i is equals to um, 3, 6, negative 8. So 3 minus lambda 
zero zero minus lambda six zero zero two minus lambda so this is a general a minus lambda i so now we have we know the value of lambda so just substitute zero on the lambda so that's why we got this matrix so for lambda to equal to three we will substitute lambda three lambda equals to three here three 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 so we get zero zero negative um, three and negative one so when we get the a minus lambda 1i so we will find the we write in the form 3 minus uh, this one in this form a minus lambda i times x equals to 0 okay the same thing for lambda 2 okay lambda 3 so now we have the equations to find the eigenvector. Now we will we will need to solve each of this one, two, three in order to get the eigenvector. So how are we going to solve this? We have learned on how to solve system of linear equations of three by matrix. So here we will use Gaussian elimination. Okay, we will start with lambda 1 equals 0. So we will reduce the system before by using cos elimination. So we see at the end we will get 0, 0, 0. So meaning this system is uh, have many has many solutions. So from this one, we can write second row x3 equals to zero x3 equals to zero so x2 we let it equals to s so then we look at the first row okay when x3 equals to zero so zero here here is s so that's why it become x1 plus 2s so x1 must be equal to negative 2s. So we write x1, x2, x3. So now we have the answer. So x1 is negative 2s. x2 is s. x3 is 0. So or you can factor out the s. So you will get this. So this is the eigenvector for lambda 1 equals to 0. So now we will continue with the next one, lambda 2 equals to 3. Again, we will reduce using cost elimination. So again, we get many solutions here. 0, 0, 0, meaning it's many solutions. So from the second row, we get x3 equals to 0. Okay, and then from first row, we get this one. So go to 0 so the equation just left with 0 x1 plus x2 so here x2 must be equals to 0 since the coefficient of x1 is 0 so x2 must be equals to 0 so what is x1 so we can just let x1 equals to s any real number so we get x1 x2 3 so it's equals to s 0 0 so if you factor out the s you will get answer like this so that's it for the second one okay now we'll proceed with the last eigenvalues so lambda 3 equals to 2 so we'll reduce in uh, using the cost elimination so we get this answer so we will write from the second row we'll write x2 minus 3x3 so we get this answer equals to 0 so x2 must be equals to x3 so if we let x3 equals to x uh, okay x3 equals to s so we substitute s here so we get x2 equals to 3s so from the first row we will substitute 
x2 3s so here s so you get the answer x1 equals to negative s so when you write x1 x2 x3 so it's actually negative 10s 3s and s so if you uh, factor out the s you will get the answer s equals to negative <coughs> S times negative 10, 3, and 1. Okay, that's it. So we have obtained three eigenvalues and three eigenvectors corresponding to each eigenvalues. So I hope all of you got this. Thank you very much.